Hello, hello there, everyone. How you doing? All right. Thank you for being here with me again. We're going to continue with this vanilla JavaScript, the tasty JavaScript. And we're going to build this thing that you might see on hotel websites or fast food we websites. Who knows? But you have this big image, this nice big old image, and these small, small images down here. When you click through them, you can visualize them like that. So it's kind of a image gallery that you have going here here. This is really nice. It's compact and you can have more pictures shown without taking up a ton of space. So let's build this vanilla, no frameworks, no jQuery, no tools. And yeah, we're going to build it from scratch. So let's get going. So what do we have here? Well, I have my empty HTML. I just linked my styles as usual and our app.js. Oh, this is just empty, just some basic removal and our app JS is also empty. So before I forget, let me close this thing because it will not work. <laughs> so that's the finished product. All right. For images, I recommend you go into Pexels. This, this is where I get most of my stuff. Yeah. If you're a photographer, go ahead, do your thing. But I'm, I just go here and search hotel. <laughs> So yeah, you, you can get these images. I got three and what you can do. Well, I mean, uh, go here. I don't know why it's a, it's a pineapple here when I search hotel, but okay. Uh, you can get a large image and a small image. So get both of them. I got, I got three. So let me show you what I have here. So I have a big, small, big, small, big, small. And if I just placed everything in my image folder here, all right, just name them room one, big room, one, small room, two, big room, two, small or whatever you want, but make sure to name them like big and small. So you clearly know what's happening. Good. All right, let's get going, go into your body here. All right. And let's just add the basic styling that we had. So I'm going to create a section here, which is going to be our full thing. So the whole thing you saw there is our section. So let me open up. Yeah. So everything here is just this section. Let me open this one up here. All right. And we're going to split it up into just like we, we did here. So we're going to do this portion now, which is our presentational style, which is going to be room description. So this is how we're going to name it room description. So a div. And then we're going to just do a H1 with our rooms and let's do a paragraph with enjoy our exotic romantic rooms. Good. Save. That's all we need there. Now for our second div, this is going to be the actual room gallery. I actually had a hard time saying that word. Good. Here we actually need the big image. So go into your images. I'm going to select the first one. Why not? And let's add a class to this so we know what this is concretely. Uh, exactly. Good. So this is going to be our gallery highlight. OK, good. Now, besides this, we're going to have a, another div, which is going to be the sub sub pictures, the small ones. So here we're going to just do room preview. OK, so you can preview the small pictures and here we're just going to stick all the rest of them in there. So the small ones. So room one small. And if you hit shift alt and you press down, you can copy this multiple times. Just two, three. There we go. Save. Let's see what we have. Oh, it's done already. Look at that. Now nah, I'm joking. This is the actual, this is our actual project. All right. Now this image is super, super big. Good. All right. So gallery. No, this is gallery highlight. See, it was gallery highlight highlight. I'm just going to add a width of 80% to this and a height of 50%. Just make it smaller, a bit more manageable. And now we are actually going to split this up in two. So to do that, let's just go up here and we're going to do the main big section here. So the section we're going to add it, just a display flex, which is going to jump the content around there like this in horizontal. So now all we have to do here, just add a height of 100 VH and we're just going to leave it like that for now. Uh, our room gallery, I'm going to select this one and I'm going to select the room description as well. 
just add a width of 50% to each like this and like this. So we split it in half perfectly. Good, now let's center everything here. So let's center this text here. To do that, just add display flex to our room description. It's gonna go like that. Now we're gonna do flex direction column. So it goes back down like this. Then we're gonna do justify content center, which is gonna bring it there. And then we wanna bring it here. So to do that, just align items center. Great. And now we can actually copy paste this up here. And this is not gonna be good right now because these images are just huge and nothing's gonna look good. Also, to make this just like we did in our room description, just add a background color of E2D2C. That's, okay, that's a pound. Uh, why do I have the pound? It's on UK for some reason. There we go. So <laughs> E2D2C. Let's see, there we go. All right, so let's fix up these preview pictures because they don't look that good right now. So let's go to our room preview here like that and just say display flex as well. So there we go, so they come like that. Now all we have to do is just add a width. Let's go 80% here and save. And also, so basically I want this to be the same width as this. And then let's do a, actually, let's not do the border. We're going to finish the styling up later. So we have that going. And here we're just going to select the room preview again, images. So all the images here, we're going to add a height to them. So I don't know, let's see 100 pixels, how that looks. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Doesn't look that bad. You can mess around with this, make it look however you want. But how do we get the same width as this picture? So to do that, all we have to do is say flex, grow, and we're gonna say one, which is gonna perfectly grow till the end of this section right here. Good, awesome. Uh, also, I just add a opacity of 0 0.6, let's say, so all the images look kind of fade out. And to make them look clickable, we're gonna add a cursor over them. So. Just say, because right now it looks like this. So if we add a cursor, pointer, then it looks clickable. Wow, it's like magic. All right, now we're also gonna do a, just do a image room active. And here we're gonna just put the opacity back to one. And, and here we're gonna transition the opacity, zero point, who, three seconds ease. Let's go 0 0.3. So our first image here, the small image, is going to be by default active. So class room active, like this. And we should see this one active. There we go. Let's also add a border to this so it doesn't look lonely. So in our room preview, border, we're going to say two pixels solid. We're going to copy this color from up here, like that. Save. And we have a small border there. Good, now you might be wondering, okay, but why is this not centered here? Well, I'm stupid and we need in our room gallery to add a display flex to this. So these will not work <laughs> if you don't add display flex. So if you say, boom, magically, everything looks nice. There we go, we have our border and everything just looks the way we want. Good, so that's all the CSS we need. Let's go to our JavaScript and finish this thing up. So go to your JavaScript. We're going to create a function here. So we're going to say function image gallery. There we go. And what we need to do is just select our highlight. So const highlight is equal to document dot query selector selector. We're going to select the gallery highlight just like that. We also need to select all the previews. So const previews equals to document dot query selector we all let's do all here because we want to select all the images this is important please don't forget the all here and here what we have to do is say room preview all right and image so select all the images if you don't do all here it's not gonna work it's only gonna select select the first image 
we don't want the first one. Good. So what we can do here is just say previews. So we select all the images here and we're going to loop over them. So for that, all we have to do is say for each. So for each preview, we get each individual preview here. And we can do an arrow function here, modern ES6 like this. So for each preview, we can attach an event listener to this. So, so for each preview, we can do add event listener and on click, we can run a function here. So write function, open up another pair of brackets. And here, if we just console log, let's console log this or preview. You can also console log preview here. Should be the same thing. So this, this is going to be actually the window. So let's click. We actually need to invoke this function image gallery like this. This is going to give us the window. Oh, never mind. Okay, because okay, so here, be careful. If we're going to use a ES6 like this and we hit save, it's going to be the window. All right. So that's why we use a function here because this doesn't bind the word this to this to the preview. Okay. So that's why we use a simple function here like this. Save and now if we click, it's going to give us the each individual image as you can see. Or you might not be able to see because this is really small and I, I have no idea how to make the font bigger, but you have to trust me. So yeah, it returns all the individual uh, pictures as soon as we click on them. Good. All right, so we attached an event listener to each of our previews. What do we do now? Well, we're going to create a new variable here and we're going to call it small source. And this is just going to give us the source of the location of the image, basically. So this dot source. So if we console log this small source. All right. And we're going to see here, it's just going to return us the exact link to the JPEG picture. Now the cool thing, and this is really simple because this is almost all the code we're going to write. And I'm actually getting into position for this because it's so, so nice. So here, all we have to do is just create another one. We're going to say const big source. All right. So the big images is equal to. So how do we get that? How do we get the big images? Well, we can do small source. So this one up here, the original source, the small one, we can do replace and we can just replace the small keyword with the big one. Because <laughs> if you remember here, we have big and small. So what this is doing is basically looking for the small here and it's going to find the small and it's going to replace it with big. All right. This is all what replace is doing. It's a string mutation. Um, in JavaScript. So all we do is we replace the source name from small to big, and then it's going to be equal to room one big. So if here down here, we do uh, our highlight. Okay, so the big image highlight dot source is equal to big source, then we get this. Boom. <laughs> See, it's not that difficult. So if we console log the big source, just to give you a visual, big source, we are just replacing the small with the big, which we have here as big. So I guess you have to name them like this, like big, small, big, small, just so you can easily re replace the word. Uh, so we get this. But yeah, that's like technically, <laughs> like, that's all we need. We have a functional thing working here. Now, the thing that's not working is our previews here. Like it's not moving, like this is not fading out when we click to the other image, but we're good. So to do that, we actually only need like two lines of code anyway. So first of all, let's just do a preview. So our simple preview class list add so when we click on these room active, so we add that class and look, the problem is they're not fading out. So all we can do is actually before, uh, before we add the class, uh, we can remove the other ones. So for that, we have to select everything again. So all the previews and for each, and here we can do preview and just preview dot 
class list and just remove all the classes from these previews like this and you are done look at that you get a nice image gallery going here so that's it uh, feel free to style this more i got a bit lazy i apologize but you can do this this is the challenge for you this is my challenge for you make this look nicer a bit because mine doesn't look really that good but i wanted to show you this cool functionality and really the power of replace is really strong and just uh, string mutations in general is something that uh, we're going to take a look into the future because you can do a lot of good, good, crazy stuff with it. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed this one. Make sure to drop a subscribe. We are close to 600. Let's get it going. Let's go to a thousand, boys. We can do it. Uh, thank you very much. Hope, uh, hope this video made you become a bit more creative and hope you're going to experiment more with, uh, with these image galleries. All right, I'm going to let you go. I'll see you back tomorrow. Peace.